Hey everybody, welcome to Noise in a Book. I know I said I would be reviewing Cuckoo's Calling, and I'm going to do that this week because I did finish it and I loved it, but Harry A History by Melissa Anelli came in the mail while I was in the middle of reading it, so I stopped reading it and I picked up Harry A History because I, I, I couldn't help it. I do a few things right before I start reading a book. I read the back, I look at the cover, and if it's a nonfiction book, I will read through the chapter headings, and no matter what kind of book it is, I usually read the last sentence or the last paragraph. It lets me know what kind of book I can expect, and you would really be surprised. I've been doing this for years, and very rarely is the ending spoiled for me. And the second I read the last sentence of this book, I had to flip back to the beginning and just start reading it. And initially I told myself I was just going to read the foreword, but after it just, it, it's so fast paced and it hooks you so fast. I gave this book five out of five stars. It, it has a, a sub note. The reason I loved this book and the reason this book made me cry two dozen times and the reason that I had the emotional experience I had with this book is because I was very much a part of the Harry Potter fandom when the books were coming out. And I remember scrounging online for good fan fiction, and I remember being on MuggleNet and in message boards and in chat rooms and on Leaky Cauldron every day after school when I could. Finding out about Wizard Rock and when Harry and the Potters first became a thing, I remember going to my first Harry Potter concert. Because of that, I had a deep emotional tie to this book. It was really great for me to be able to read it from the point of view of an insider, of someone who was very active in that community. And the only reason I say I wasn't active is because I was very much a lurker. I I never published my fan fiction online. I never said anything in the message boards or in the chat rooms. I just liked reading it and kind of lurking on the edges of it. It's one of the reasons that it, I really wanted to join booktube is because I have this fan experience of lurking in the background and I was always kind of bummed that I never became an active part of this community and I remember thinking about how I wish I could just give up everything in my life and follow Harry around and do the things that Melissa did. So that that was amazing for me and that's why I gave this book five out of five stars. I still feel if you were not a part of that community, if you read the books recently or you weren't around or you celebrate your fandom of the Harry Potter books in a different way, this book might be like a three or four stars for you. I still felt it was very well written. It's half nonfiction uh, discussing the entire Harry Potter phenomenon and the fandom and everything surrounding the books and that happened around the books. And it's half memoir of Melissa's journey. The Harry Potter fandom still exists and this feels like a exploration of its roots. And it's always good to know where you came from, especially when a fandom is as amazing and celebrated and phenomenal as the Harry Potter fandom is a really good message that we got from this book. We really only need one common cause to band together. People who had nothing else in common except for their love of Harry Potter were able to get together and do so many things and change so many lives. Her writing was very clear and concise but still emotional and touching and her passion for these books and for the Leaky Cauldron and for the fandom is very apparent. There were a few times I cried out of sadness, but most of the time I was just crying out of this complete joy. I would highly recommend it to anyone who loves Harry Potter, and I would especially consider it a must read if you were a part of that fandom when the books were coming out and when this whole thing was in its heyday. It's a beautiful, fantastic book. I loved it so much that I it is going to be a part of my Harry Potter reading. I don't just read one Harry Potter book, I read all seven, and I read the textbooks when I read it, and I read Beetle the Bard. She did such a fantastic job of capturing the fandom and capturing the fan experience and reminding me of all those memories on such a personal level that this this is book eight for me. She jumps around a lot in her timeline, and I almost wish it works so perfectly in the book, but I almost wish she didn't, just so that I could read each chapter along with the books and remember the experiences as I'm reading the books. But I will be reading it after I read the Harry Potter series. Every time I read the Harry Potter series, this will be a book that I will have to get multiple copies of over the years. Melissa, I know I don't know you personally, and I highly doubt you're watching this, but I was part of your mafia, and Leaky Cauldron was a community that did so much for me when I was struggling with who I was and everything about me when I was in junior high and high school and college and those 
years when the books were coming out and I found this family away from my family that I could take with me anywhere. All I needed was an internet connection and I can never express to you and everyone at Leaky Cauldron and MuggleNet and the entire Harry Potter community how much you have done for me over the years. I'm gonna be done being emotional and I already said I was gonna end the video so I'm just gonna end it now. I will have Cuckoo Calling review later this week. I love you. I love this. Thank you so much for this experience. And you know what? While we're on it, thank you, Booktube, for allowing me to be here and allowing me to have this video and allowing me to make new friends and become a part of this community. I know I haven't been doing videos for very long, but I already feel like... I feel like I belong. Thank you so much for reading, and have a great day. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing for this video. I should just stop it.